What is the story behind Amarachi? What moved you and what are you trying to do? Well, the story behind Amarachi is like there are so many Amarachis out there. Even in a potopoto environment like we have, there are so many people who are taking the high street who want to do something very positive, something very useful with their lives. And uh, she just happened to be somebody that caught my attention. I mean, like you said, here is a young girl. She could be doing anything that she so desires. She could be selling her body. She could be, you know, out there in the world doing all sorts of negative things. But she decided to take up something that I feel was beneath her. This is a graduate, yet she now took on the job to write keke, just because there was no job. You know, government and not giving any job to anybody, you know, uh, the leadership don't care so much about the youth. So I thought it was something inspirational, something to help other people to realize that we don't necessarily have to take that negative tone. And you've been taking on a lot of courses like that. Oh, yeah. That you well, don't want to mention well, Let's not talk about So that. I took it over. I've spoken to Amarachi. Yeah. And Amarachi said to me that her Facebook, her social media, her phone is exploded since Charlie Boy took over because you called her and you said, we want to empower you, we want to help you. And since she's just, she's just everything. This is about Charlie Boy Foundation wanting to do something for Amarachi. But yes. Amarachi said Charlie Boy's influence made many people over Nigeria to be pouring into her, just wanting to help her. And are you ready to send us to Amarachi this morning? I spoke to her yesterday. Yeah. Can you trust me now? I know you can do and undo. I can but, do. But, but I can good do miracles. Things, good things. Guess what, Chuck? Amarachi is in charge this morning. All the way from Wari, Delta State. Where is Amarachi? Come on, Amarachi, the Kakaka. Look at Area Father. You told me. Area Father called me. I couldn't believe it. Area... Okay, let me control myself. Yeah, Amarachi, Great Church. I was teaching in Friday school. Yes. I got really tired yeah. of the stress and walking like an elephant and then any like an ant. I really got tired. So I resigned. And then something came to my mind. You can write keke. I saw people doing it. Like, I can write keke. I will write keke. And you didn't want to do what other girls no, are doing? No, 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 no. Yeah, I was asking you, in school, you didn't want to do that? No, sir. And why? Why don't you want to? Like, go the fast lane and do the crook, like Kerry Father was saying. Maybe the right, it's not the right lane. It's not the right thing it's to do. It's not the right thing. So you chose the dignity of labor. Yes, sir. And you, how, how long were you riding Keke before Area Father called you? Four months, sir. When he called you and you heard his voice, how did you feel? I felt I was dreaming. You felt I, you were dreaming? I was dreaming. I think I'm dreaming too. I was I, dreaming. Next morning, like, I'm, I'm dreaming. Yeah. Charlie Boy called me. Who am I? What did he tell you that was more important to you than every other thing? He said he wants to bless my husband. He said he wants to bless, bless your husband. husband. Yes, that's what he said. Okay, Rafa, do it. Come, come. <laughs> the Bible says, let your good work be seen by people so they can glorify your father in heaven. Uh -huh. I don't plan for you. I don't plan for you. <laughs> you think he said, only you if he do magic. So, Amarachi, look at this. Ah, uh, who can help me read? What is here? Can you read it? Can you read it? Charlie Boy Foundation, conjunction with CPJ, present Ieze Joy Amarachi, a sum of 500,000 naira only. Wow! Adopted well, um, what can I say? <laughs> My heart goes out for any young person who is taking the highway because sometimes, in a very toxic environment, I wonder what can grow in a toxic environment. 
So many dreams have died in this environment. So when I see young people yes. who are outstanding, yes. who are exceptional, who are not the regular young people that I see, my heart goes out to them. Okay? And I believe that the only salvation that is left for this country, this contraption called Nigeria, yeah. lies in the hands of the exceptional people. And these exceptional people, as far as I'm concerned, are the youths of this country. Come on. Yeah. So, all, right, Father. all I can say is Amarachi, thank you for pointing the light yeah. and inspiring That's millions it. of other people. Yeah. You're blessed. Yeah, what do you want to say? I even, I, I'm in short of words. I didn't expect this. Thank you so much, sir. This will go a, a very long way to lighting the huge burden on my, my shoulders. I am very grateful. I'm thankful to God for this wonderful opportunity to be here in this glorious house of God, to, to be here to receive this awesome amount of money. It's a lot. I never expected it. I never saw it coming. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you, sir. People, thank you, Maraj. Can you help her?